Say something to him. I want him to learn your voice. Hey, little one. It's your Uncle Emily. <laughs> Uncle Emily knows a man who drives a coach like a thimble. Turns the wheel all day with his heel. His name is... Do you know the answer? Come on, give me a guess. Come on, baby. Okay, I'll tell you. His name is Bumblebee. <laughs> Imagine a child we could raise together. He'd be a genius. A prodigy. Sue, that's impossible. Is it impossible, or is it just not what you want? Where's Austin? Oh, out with George. We went to jump in Puffer's Pond. We got drunk on homemade whiskey. The pond, it's freezing. It's not even noon. Mm-hmm. My your brother is a child. He probably won't even be home for dinner. He's always out so late. Emily. You could come. We could have a little meal together. By the fireside. With a baby. Wouldn't that be nice? I can't. Why not? I promised Lavinia I would go to her sewing circle tonight. We're making bandages for the soldiers. Damn it. Why do you always do this? Do what? Choose your family over me. I never, that's not fair, Sue. I'm not choosing anyone. Maybe that is the problem. Sometimes I would like to feel chosen. I would choose you over anyone, anytime. Any place. My family is on the verge of tearing itself apart. All I want to do is just make sure that everyone is okay. I'm just trying to help, Sue. I'm just... There are so many ways you could be helping me. You know, I didn't even want to go to this sewing circle tonight. What I want is to be writing poems. But life keeps getting in the way. Yeah. Yeah, life is messy like that. There are poems I want to write for you. Okay, Emily. But, but what if I need more than your poems? What if right now I need all of you?